guys doing today? Good. How about, how about what Eric and his crew is doing for you guys as far as these bikes? It's really neat to be able to get these bikes out there and get them on wheels, correct? Right? Why don't we put a, a hand, round of applause for Eric and his crew for what they're doing for you guys. So what we're here today to speak to you about is helmet safety and you know, safety on your bicycles. And not just your bicycles, but you guys are also out there riding razors and scooters and snow snowboards and everything else we do to have fun in life. Uh, and what we need to do to, you know, to keep having that fun in life is to be safe uh, while we're doing it. Um, you know, in the fire department, we basically go on numerous calls a week, a year, a day on, there you go. We go on numerous calls where, you know, people that aren't wearing their helmets, you know, are, are unfortunately injured extremely bad. Uh, things that could be avoided by just simple safety matters, wearing a helmet, um, wearing knee pads, uh, wearing, wearing some of the safety features that are available to you. Um, you know, one of our firefighters here, Mr. Paul Newcomb, you know, when he was a child, he actually was in an accident where he wasn't wearing his helmet on his bicycle, and he was hit by a bicycle, and, or sorry, hit by a car, and spent a considerable amount of time in the hospital. And, you know, some of these people, you know, Paul's very fortunate that he's been able to, you know, have his life turned around and uh, function and be, you know, a firefighter and give back to the community, that, you know, to help people that also are, 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 are experiencing some of these similar injuries, but... You know, it was a long road for Paul. It's a long road for a lot of these people uh, to get, once they're in accidents, not wearing helmets, to get back up, just get their life normal, you know, feeding themselves, having girlfriends, boyfriends, uh, having a family. So um, the importance of wearing the helmets is, is extreme. Um, you know, and there's, you know, it's, it's not a not cool thing anymore. I know when I was a child or a kid, um, it probably wasn't the coolest thing to wear a helmet. Um, those times have changed. I mean, you see personality in helmets. You see guys, I see it already here with, with kids with stickers on their helmets. You got this kid over here with, with, a, uh, with a GoPro camera. I mean, there's cool things you can do with your helmet. You can add personality to what you do. Your helmet can be an extension of who you are. You see, if you watch TV, X Games, you see guys with Monster Energy and Rockstar, and they're really, they're really taking their helmets to the next level. Um, I, uh, I'm unfortunate to have seen both sides of it. I grew up racing motorcycles for a living uh, before I became involved with the fire department. So I've seen both sides. I've raced BMX, BMX bikes, I've raced motorcycles. I've seen that you know, get, you know, people get hurt without helmets on. Uh, I've seen it on, on a competition level and on a uh, fire department level. So I, you know, one of the things we really want to talk to you guys about today is just you know, wear your helmets, be responsible. Um, prevent any unnecessarily you know, injuries that could be prevented by wearing these helmets that you've been given today.